The question of which brain processes are involved in schizophrenia has vexed people for a long time and I am coming increasingly to the view that it is a disorder of all of the brain and all brain regions are affected. This work on the genetics of schizophrenia has been going on in Cardiff with Mick O'Donnell and myself for over 20 years now and it's a core part of our MRC centre. My name is Mike Owen and I'm the director of the MRC Centre for Neuropsychiatric Genetics and Genomics at Cardiff University. We've been looking at genetic mutations in schizophrenia that are new mutations that occur in a person with the disorder that aren't present in their parents. We've shown that they are concentrated on a particular set of genes that code for a particular set of proteins in the brain and these proteins are involved in synaptic plasticity which is the, the basis of learning and, and memory. My name is Michael O'Donovan and I'm Professor of Psychiatric Genetics at Cardiff University. The research that uh, we've recently published was based upon a study where we identified a series of new mutations occurring in people with uh, schizophrenia and what we found was they converge on certain biological pathways so although they make a small contribution overall to schizophrenia they're actually very informative in terms of the biology of schizophrenia. And we've also shown that the mutations that are present in schizophrenia overlap with those that are occur in other disorders of, of the brain. This uh, confirms the predictions of a theory that we put out a few years ago that these disorders are, are, are related in some fundamental way. What we've shown in this particular study is that a proportion of the biology of these disorders also overlaps. So there's a, a partial overlap in terms of symptoms and there's also a partial overlap in terms of genetics. So in our study we were able to show that some of the biological processes that are impacted upon by new mutations in schizophrenia are also impacted by new mutations in people with intellectual disability and also impacted upon by new mutations in people with autism. One of the directions that we're hoping to focus on is to take this set of mutations that we've discovered uh, and um, try and work out in much more detail how they affect brain function. So we've already been funded with a, a large grant from the Wellcome Trust to, to do some of this work and that's the DEFINE programme that has just started in the Neuroscience Institute. Uh, and so we're going to be using a combination of methods to try and understand the impact of these genetic changes on the brain.